Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Endeavor OS XFCE. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel. Those links are down below. Endeavor OS. We're going to open up the website here real quick. This distribution's latest update was on August 27th, 2021, and that's what we'll be looking at today. You go to their website, which is EndeavorOS.com. I'll put the link in the description below. And you start out, it says, all right, so next is available. You've got Endeavor. You've got news. It says our next ISO has arrived. Development is in full throttle. Although it is summer over here, we do have exciting news to share with you surrounding development. you got news update for the summer. That's back when their April release was out. And obviously it says we are astonished by generosity and loyalty. So obviously they're being supported real well by their community, which is awesome. Then you've got download, latest releases. And then they also have installation. Should you have questions about installation? Grub dual booting, add packages to be installed in addition to desktop chosen. i3 window manager. Installation intro, create install media, and you can pick your desktop upon installation. Over here under categories, it's got applications, ARMS, articles, AUR, hardware, Intel GPU, package management, Pac-Man, PayMac, Pipewire, which has been getting a lot of news lately. It seems to be operating a little better than Pulse Audio on some distributions. So let's go back over. Then you've got your community, you've got your forum. You can reach them on Mastodon, Telegram, Twitter, Reddit. So you want to keep this website in mind just because you download it and you install it. If you do have issues, don't run to Google or Bing and start looking for help. Go right back over to Endeavor's website. Go over to the community. You can go into their forum. This is the place to get problems solved right here. These are the people that are used to using Endeavor on a daily basis, and they're the ones that can help you. You can also find information on their wiki as well. So. Don't forget this website should you have problems. And then, of course, contact media images, GitHub, privacy policy, donate if you want to help them out a little bit and you like what they're doing. So we're going to go ahead and close out of this. If you download Endeavor OS onto a USB or open it up in a virtual machine or install it, this is the screen you're going to be met with. You're going to have some options here. It's going to say start the installer, partition manager, install community editions. If there's a community edition out there you want to install, you would just click on that. Latest release info, installation tips, update the mirrors, change display resolution, how to share system logs, and then general info is your website, your forum, your donate, your wiki, your news, and about welcome. Now, if you close out of this and you have issues, you can go to their website and go to the forums, or you can come over here and just type in welcome. There's your welcome screen. Click on it. It'll open back up. You can go to general info and open up their forum. So everything you need is right here in the operating system. As you can see, down on the bottom, you've got one panel. You do have some transparency because you can see the wallpaper bleeding through. I'm going to go ahead and put panel. Let's see if we can change the panel a little bit. It's in horizontal mode. You can actually take it to vertical, or you can take it to desk bar. We're going to go ahead and leave it in horizontal. I want to make it a little bigger. It's on 34 right now. So I'm going to run it up just a hair. That's a little bigger, so we'll use that. Appearance. You can turn on dark mode for the appearance. That changes you over to dark mode. Let's go over here. As you can see, that is now all dark. Adjust size automatically. That is already on, so we're going to leave that untouched. And then items. Things you'd have down in the bottom or you want to add to the panel down in the bottom. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Right now, we're a live user. Right here, you've got date and time. You've got your notifications. You've got battery charge. You've got volume that you can turn up and down. You've got internet, English keyboard, and then, of course, screenshot. Over here, you've got Endeavor OS log tool. Then you've got XFCE terminal. Let's go ahead and open that up. Let's see if we've got HTOP. We do not have HTOP. Let's see if we have top, and we do. At present, I've got three gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. At rest with just the terminal open, we're looking at 527 megabytes used, which is extremely light. So if you're looking for something to run on an older system, this is definitely an operating system to take a look at. 
we'll go ahead and close out of that. Now we're going to go over here and open up the file manager. This should be Thunar. Let's double check. And it is Thunar File Manager 4.16.8. It's just a fast, easy, quick, stay out of your way type file manager. Over here, you've got the usual suspects. And then right here, you've got some information. If you want to look at the install log, you want to look at the license, just double click on it. Open it up. If you want to read through the license, there it is. That's the GNU license. So we'll close out of that. But that's Thunar. Firefox, we've already looked at. Let's go over here to Endeavor OS. You've got your favorites. You've got all applications. You've got accessories, which would be things like your application finder, bulk rename, calculator, task manager. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. There's your task manager. Right now, I have four CPUs issued to this machine. And it's running at about 5%. Processes, there are 169 processes in memory. We're still hovering about a gig of memory being used out of the three gigs that we have issued. It's running at about 34%, so that's not too bad in a live state. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Back to accessories, down to development. You've got your icon browser, a bunch of QT tools, graphics. You've got Restretto Image Viewer, Internet. You've got eLinks. Multimedia, you got Parole Media Player, Pulse Audio Control, QT Video Capture Utility. Then you've got Accessibility, Advanced Network, Appearance. Let's check out Appearance. Right now we're using Arc Darker. You can change that to Arc Dark if you wanted to. Arc Darker, Arc Lighter. I'm just going to go back to Arc Dark. Icons. We're presently using Arc XD. You could use Arc XP if you wanted to. I'm just going to stay with that. Here are your fonts. You can change these up. If you want to make bigger fonts, just change your DPI a little bit. Things get a little bigger, so we can close out of that. Color profiles, file manager settings, displays, default applications, panel, power management, QT5 settings, workspaces, and then your system, XFC terminal, task manager we've already looked at, and Thunarm file manager. Let's do about about XFCE, Endeavor OS, 64-bit, XFCE version 4.16, 2.9 gigabytes, and distributor Arch Linux. And then about Windows Manager, credits, and copyright. I mean, in a nutshell, that's Endeavor OS. It's Arch-based distribution. It's lightweight. If you're used to using things like Manjaro or Gentoo or you're just wanting something a little lighter, but you're wanting the arch bleeding edge, zip on over to Endeavor's website, download it, throw it on a USB stick, open it up in a virtual machine, take it for a test drive. I think you'll be real impressed. Do me a big favor before you go today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become patrons to the channel like Miss Love Kraleza and Mitchell Valentino, the Patreon link is down below. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next video.